Hello friends, in this video we'll be discussing problem number 2 on recurrence relation. Welcome back friends, let us discuss problem number 2 on recurrence relation. Exactly similar problem as uh, problem number 1. The only difference is in problem number 1, we were not having this f of n problem was till here now we included f of n now we're going to see what are the changes because of this so what do you mean by f of n see f of n can be of two category either it can be r raised to n something like this or it can be a constant see whatever without a n is your f of n a n n minus 1 n minus 2 so whatever without a n whatever you are left with is your f of n so it can be of these two categories so what is the first step now steps are similar take these terms to left hand side and here it will not be 0 here it will be 7 raised to n so this is your equation number 1 so what I did these two terms take to the left hand, left hand side and 7 raised to n and after that convert it into quadratic equation in terms of x and while writing down we're going to take it as 0 we're not going to consider 7 raised to n just we're going to take it as 0 and the same procedure will get the values x equal to 5 and minus 1 and since there are two roots your solution is a n is equal to this but in that case if we have f of n see here we have f of n then the solution becomes a n h plus a n p so in that case this solution is not the final solution this solution is a n h it's not final solution final solution will be a n h plus a n p if this is not given this is my final solution that is your a of n now we need to find it out a n p suppose along with that 7 raised to n along with that initial conditions are also given that uh, uh, likewise given in the first problem then will not stop here for a and h we will go ahead and we will find the value of u and v that we did in the last problem let us move on now we will find it out a and p so here a and p is a and p depends upon your function here it is r raised to n so a and p is a r raised to n so a is from our side and r raised to n will remain as it is. So r raised to n means the function that is 7 raised to n. So this is my a and p. In a and p I want to get the value of a. So see the procedure what we will do to get the value of a. We are going to put in equation number 1. Let us put in equation number 1. See the procedure. We are going to substitute in equation number 1. So in place of a n we are going to put a 7 raised to n. What else? minus 4 see this minus 4 a of n minus 1 a n is a 7 raised to n but here it is n minus 1 that means we need to replace n with n minus 1 so this will become a 7 raised to n minus 1 minus 5 a n minus 2 so a n is a 7 raised to n here it is n minus 2 so it will be a 7 raised to n minus 2 equal to right hand side 7 raised to n we are going to put in equation number 1 so this is a 7 raised to n minus 4 a 7 raised to n upon 7 obviously 7 raised to n minus 1 can be written uh, in this format 7 raised to n upon 7 square let us take 7 raised to n common inside or we can take a 7 raised to n common so here it is 1 minus 4 by 7 because we took a 7 raised to n common so we left with 4 by 7 minus 5 upon 49 is equal to 7 raised to n so that will be cancelled from both the sides a in bracket we need to solve this so let us do the calculations 16 by 49 therefore a will be equal to this 49 will go up and 16 will go down so that is 49 by 16 so this is a we got a and p let us put in equation number 3 if you do that we'll get the value of a and p that is 49 by 16 into 7 raised to n 
we got both a n p and a n s so what is the final solution a n is equal to a n p plus a n h or a n h plus a n p so let us put in the particular uh, expression a n h a n h is this u phi raised to n plus v minus 1 raised to n plus a n p so that is 49 by 16 into 7 days to n so this is your required solution for this particular problem so what was the difference the difference was here the given there was f of n present in the problem so because of that there were few changes so remember the procedure and you can easily manage this type of problem hope you understood we're done with it thank you